Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see. Let them know what we are. Very gang, man. Very gang. Hey man, listen man, make sure you guys tap into the channel man. Um, another Boss Talk 101 review. Rick Ross basically kills the car show game every year, every summer. It's a summertime thing. Everybody got to be there. All my partners be going. They get their cars. They take them on trailers and they head down there or they fly down there. Shout out to my boy Dunk Master. But we got a disgruntled guy that's pretty much upset about what happened with him when he tried to attend the Rick Ross car show. I was just pretty much reading and came across this article. Uh, it was two or three of them out there. TMZ definitely spoke on it, but it was a few of them. But the TMZ one was interesting. The guy named was Darius and he decides that, hey man, listen, man, I wasn't treated right when I went down there at that car show. Matter of fact, um, you know, it was a trip because he even alluded to the fact that there was no wheelchair accessibility and this is a serious offense and I didn't realize it until I got into business years ago a guy uh, came at us it was a woman she came at us and then it was a guy also but this is a thing when you've been in business a long time you know that people are going to come for you when it come down to accessibility if you really wanted to be in business so that's what spoke to me like man I remember going through that where I was so annoyed by this woman she kept coming to the store trying to see if I had put my ramp in yet and then it was a thing where it was like, okay, there's a ramp, but the ramp is way down the walkway and you can have it wherever, but you got to have it there. So this is the uh, end grounds that he's suing on. But there's a multiple things that he talked about, basically. Uh, when, when you look at the article that, uh, I believe it's TMZ that, that gave this exclusive on, it said, Rick Ross is facing a new legal challenge cause a man just sued, claiming Ross didn't ensue his car show was accessible for disabled people. A man named Darius Strader is suing Ross, Rick Ross because he says Ross marketed his car show as a dream opportunity to visit his property, but he says he didn't get the chance because of wheelchair accessibility. Shuttle bus never arrived to get him to the event, despite claiming he got multiple assurances there would be one. Derry says he paid for travel, lodging, and bought a ticket, and even his car to do so, to Rick Rouse's car and bike show, and claims he reached out to the venue two weeks in advance to give them notice he needed reasonable accommodations for his wheelchair. He claims car show organizers told him they'd have a shuttle to take him from the park from the parking lot to the event, but says after waiting several hours, it never came. He got fed up, gave away his ticket, and went back to his hotel. There is, and his lawyer, John Hoover Esquire, or ESQ, says organizers promised a refund for anyone who didn't get into the event, but says nobody ever followed up with him. He's suing Rick for breach of contract, unjust enrichment, and violation of the American Disability Act. And he's asking for damages and an order forcing the car show to provide disabled access in the future. We've reached out to Ross so far, but guess what? They got no word back. But Okay, like I said, mine was more accessibility at the location, how you ramp, come up on the ramp, whatever. but this was a whole nother spill. And these acts are true, man, to be honest with you. These people, disabled people, I mean, if he, if he reached out and if he got documentation showing that he reached out to Rick Ross and nobody pretty much uh, 
uh, accommodated him after they assured him that he would be accommodated. Derrick's got a case, and I'm telling you right now, um, this come with the game, and I'm pretty sure Rick Ross knows that. But this guy's not uh, hes not going to stop coming for him. I thought that. But they'll maybe end up selling. Who knows? I just know that it's a real thing when you start dealing with disabled guys or disabled women or disabled people, and it's a serious subject. But at the end of the day, this is what you can look for when you're dealing with that magnitude of an event. And I just think, you know, I know Rick's, I lawyered up. I know he's always going through different stuff. One of the coldest trollers on the internet, really. And, you know, it's just a crazy situation when you start to look at it in, in its entirety and what it really, really, really represents. It's like, whoa, man, like, man, you know, um, they, they, you know, when you do something, somebody going to come for you. They're not going to just let you win. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. But, you know, I, I watch what's going on, and, and Rick Ross don't seem too roused by it. He's right here. Now he's, he's dealing with something totally different. He ain't even thinking about it. He's in so many different countries doing so many different things. But at the end of the day, this doesn't go away. You still have to end up putting up money either to settle. You may have to end up doing some uh, different appearances for, for your lawsuits. There's a lot to come with it once you start going through these trials. Hey, I'm telling you now, it gets to be a, 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 a thing. So Rick Ross, he's, he ain't tripping. He in other countries, according to this. Watch this. Rizio. Rizio. Come and kick it with the bezel. Rizio. You see, Luke Belair. Rizio. Peter Pan. Biggest boss. Went into the Rosé land. Everybody that's rocking with me, we out in Italy right now. We got a party late on tonight. We finna go to dinner. We finna have some amazing seafood. Amazing seafood. But look, a few days ago, we had two parties in Germany. Day after that, we had two parties in London. Day after that, we had two parties in London. Now we in Italy. We finna go have some fine dining. You know, out here, all they drink is the finest bubbles. Look better. Wow. Hey, man, listen, he don't seem like he roused at all. He promoting Bel Air. You know, he, he, he not trying to hear it. And, you know, you can't be mad at him because he, he definitely not backing down from anything. He's in different countries, partying in different ways, living his best life. You know, uh, it's just a, it's a trip to me that, you know, he really is embodying, embracing this entrepreneurship and this game. And, and, and to be honest with you, the rap style was cold when he came out, period. But I like the way he readjusted and he dealing with whatever come his way. He, he It rolls off his shoulders. He's standing in the, in, in the whole situation, the essence of whatever faces I, whatever things I face is going down, man. I ain't trying to hear it. So, man, what y'all think about Rick Ross? Let us know. Get in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Is Rick, is Rick Ross, uh, do, should he pay this guy? Uh, should he settle with this guy or should he just basically fight the situation? If you told somebody something, though, you got to stand on it, man. Um, hey, man, you can check that all out on TMZ. It's going down, man. Y'all, hey, man, let me know how you like these reviews, Boss Talk 101. And make sure you check the latest interviews on Boss Talk 101. We got so many different people that's going to be coming on the show. You guys are going to love it. Boss Talk 101, man, listen, man, make sure you share, like, subscribe, become members. What a boss is told. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.